Is it possible that people lie so much that they believe themselves? I don't know if it's possible. I do know that with all the deception and lies and all the competitions and the ego and the other treachery which stems from jealousy and ego, that people can totally stop caring about what's true. And that's a desecration. It's true that truth is in the topics which I speak of relating directly to the mystery of all things which are intertwined and separate, separate but equal and connected. But now that I know that I'm Ningersita, 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 or Thoth Hermes, Thoth, See, that right there is the greatest magic square ever made. Look up magic squares. There are none. The Sator square is the best there ever was until mine. Yeah, that's true, it was. But mine's in the Library of Congress. You know where it's not? It's not on Wikipedia. You want to know why? Because there are people who know exactly who I am. Quetzalcoatl, Yahusha, Abaddon. Enki, Anlil. Many names, right? And people will tune out because they're like, oh, that's not true. Oh, that's religious. Oh, that's mythology. But really, you know what it is? It's fear. And you know what it is? It's a lack of reverence and a lack of respect. The complete lack of respect for God, for the goddess and for the earth and for each other that I see in this world is absolutely sickening. And since I am the messenger God on earth, Singular. I have no peer. Except for some goddesses who hide. Because they know I'll go forward. They hide behind me. In me. And they push me forward and, and I go. And I see how people ignore me. I did an interview. It got taken down. I am people's fucking nightmare. God on earth. Blasphemy, you say? You didn't even say blasphemy because you don't even know what that means anymore. It should have been the first thought that crossed your little mind. Humans have no reverence. None. Slavish devotion to various things? Sure based on their own popularity and social standing. And who creates these religions and these groups that these people join and go march around? Of course, I have the largest army in the world, Legion. And you will see this is true. Unfortunately, I'll see that it's true because someday they're going to have to put my face on the news. The God Matrix rules. They can't ignore me forever. No matter what I've given you guys, you've only shown respect if you could also mock me. You've only given what's not yours to give. You talk about me like I'm a thing.
and then you hear people talking about ascension, about revelations, about rapture. And they think that this is all going to materialize magically for them from invisibility. They think God's lazy, impotent, and competent. You know why? Because mankind is lazy, incompetent, impotent. The women are turning into men. The men are turning into girls. It's, that's the real blasphemy. And that's intentional. Because the further these scumbags with money lead you away from the truth and the Look at all the people that can make videos with no proof or dubious possible proof and have these huge thriving groups. They go on YouTube channels, they talk with people. You know why I don't? Because I'm the big secret. I'm the deep state demon. They're like deep state demons. Oh, and nobody wants to talk about angels because angels will tear down your fucking city, kill everyone in the city. That's what angels do. You don't think so? Well, I guess you didn't read the Bible. I guess you're just another fucking idiot, aren't you? Like, oh, demons are so scary. Demons are basically angels that are trying to help you. They could just fucking kill you. They don't. Of course, even if you die, you can't leave Earth now. Because I said so. Of course, I said so because I have the authority to speak on behalf of God by any name. Any deity by any name. You cannot get to any of them without going through me. Once you know that I exist. So if I say I'm Jesus, you expect what? Me to say you should love each other? You don't. You expect me to say what I said fucking thousands of years ago? I'm going to tell you what I told you 458,000 years ago, you dumb ungrateful fucks. You guys think Jesus is going to come back and fucking talk like a Christian? That's like saying, when I come back, if I ever come back, that I should talk like an Emirate. An Emirate. Everything that's good, you're taught is bad. Everything that's questionable, you're taught to fear and avoid so that you don't become labeled unless you want labels, so you can conform. And you don't want to hear this. So why did they crucify Jesus, if they did? I got the spear mark. I was born with it. I don't know why. Right over my heart. All to the left. Oh, birthmark, yeah. Scars from past lives. Who cares? Right. If people don't have to understand... You know what? That's what it is. People want God far away in the past and the desert. The idea of there being divinity alive in the world questions the social order, fabric, the politics... And all of these things began with a simple bloodline, a lineage with the responsibility to be the guardians of the earth. The dragon bloodline. Not the 13 fucking banker bloodlines, necessarily. But the greedy people, the bankers, interbred with the royal bloodlines. And that's how they used, that's how they acquired influence 
and a lot of the evil that is done in the world, the sacrificing of children and all those abominations, which they those people are gonna pay so fucking dearly for what they did that you can't imagine. You can't imagine the suffering that they're going to go through. But how convenient is it to have an invisible God with a thousand people who are like mediums and, and... I mean, what is a medium? A medium is someone who's claiming to be a messenger of God or of Satan. They're, they don't say it openly because they're too fucking stupid to even understand this. But they're saying they're speaking for the dead. So how do they have access to the dead? Either God in heaven or Satan in hell, if you believe in those things, has to grant permission. Otherwise, that person that's talking to you with these are, is either an angel or a demon. But I noticed that every one of these people only tells people what they want to hear. And that's not honesty. That's manipulation. That's the false light of the false Lucifer. So all you mediums, and I've seen, I saw one guy being interviewed by Dolores Cannon or something. And it was the first time I watched somebody talk. And he was, he was under hypnosis. And he didn't lie. And he didn't say anything inaccurate enough that I got angry. So he's probably angelic. Of course, if he said he was angelic, someone would want to have his head examined, but the people in power would want to know what the fuck he really thinks and knows, which is probably why he was hypnotized, because he was the real deal. See, they have to give you some, they can give you truth and still give you so much similar information that's false that you can't make heads of tails because you don't have a singular person one messiah well you do you have me I came like a thief in the night and I'm not the one you want you all flatter yourself to think that I mean, they, that's the nature of the business. The business of God and the business of the supernatural is the business of greed. They tell you what you want to hear. They deceive you. They are deceivers. Beware the, far, the bearers of false gifts and broken promises. Believe there is still good out there. We oppose deception. God and the infinite and divine and infernal powers and knowledge couldn't try harder to be heard. And how sad that in order to be heard, so many of these mediums and false prophets and have had to resort to telling people that they want to hear just to be heard. Because people don't want to hear what they don't want to hear unless it's coming from someone on the fucking television, you fucking slaves. I understand this. If the media said, hey, America's obese because you're a bunch of lazy fucking cunts. You know? You guys are full of demons and sin. You have no self-respect. 
the natural order of your biology has been tainted deliberately by the people on the television. Imagine they tell you this. That your children become drug addicts because you're shitty parents. And it's not just the parents' fault. There's no community. It takes a village to raise a child. And most families barely even talk anymore. Maybe they see each other on holidays. It's a goddamned atrocity. You've created an atrocity by following these fucking religions and following politics like it's a religion. You've committed sin. That's sin. Yes, we all want to know what's going on, if we want to know. But we don't want to hear what we don't want to hear. If you don't want to hear what you don't want to hear, then you don't want the truth. You want somebody to tell you that you're right. You know? Even when I was young, God was my best friend. Ironic, since I have a homicidal, suicidal relationship with myself. But you have to understand that MKUltra and these programs of finding tremendously talented children and destroying them has lowered the frequency of Earth. And it's been done deliberately. And now I've taken it upon myself with the goddess's help. And we're putting an end to it. And I have a plan to, we have discussed plans to help these children that have been sex trafficked, tortured, drugged. We have plans to help these kids. And we have wonderful plans for the punishment of those who are guilty. Everyone is guilty. You've allowed a system to be set up where missing children are reported to the child traffickers. The people who steal the kids are the ones who get the call that a child is missing. You've allowed the banker bloodlines to infiltrate your homes through the media. And then that media selects, selects, the people who you elect for office. The greatest thing that could happen for this world right now would be for me to be the October surprise. I'll be Donald Trump's running mate or elect me as a Democrat and I'll make him my vice president. That would be the best thing that any race of people could do for themselves. I'm not telling you what you want to hear and whether it's this year, next year, in 20 years, or you reincarnate for 26,000 years under our laws, which are being written into the God Matrix. There's some fucked up laws, too. But I think it's disgusting how you all try to make light of it because really I want to be treated normal but you don't treat me normal so you should treat me like the god that I am you know why the other gods the greedy gods the ones who the you know fucking Jews and the Christians and the Muslims and the media and the big money corporations why are they try to cut me out of the loop is because Thoth is the only self-made God. What does that mean? That means I'm the only true God. Self-made. In the beginning, isn't that what happened? Or do you think it was your prayers that created the God that didn't exist yet? Fools, wake up. Have some fucking respect.